Hi, this is Pad Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to talk to you about seeing the warning signs. Sometimes we get so swept up in the moment, in the romance, in the flirtatious uh, sparkle and enticements that we ignore what's sitting right before our eyes. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that you have to watch out for, male or female, is if you're dating someone who gets very upset, who takes on an unholy quietness when someone else of the opposite uh, gender starts conversing with you. Now, here you are in a conversation, talking to somebody, maybe your cousin, your brother, or it could be your... your uh, your friend's mother or sister, whatever, and you're holding a conversation with someone of the opposite sex, whether it be male or female. Now, you're doing something that's totally innocent. And you know, the Bible says to the defiled, all things are defiled. So when you're holding this conversation and it is innocent, and the one you're dating gets a fat attitude and starts telling you that you were rude, you were ignoring them, you acted like they weren't there, and how could they flirt with someone in front of you and you're sitting, to, 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 what gave you the impression I'm flirting? It's a conversation. You may have been talking or joking with the server, male or female, and the person you're with gets a fat attitude. Oh, you better end that day quick, fast, in a hurry. It's not even worth finishing the meal. Cut that baby loose. As the young folks say, time to bounce. Yeah, because that's not going to do anything but get worse and worse. They'll apologize. And, oh, I was being oversensitive. And oh, I've been done so wrong all my life. I just, oh, I just have such a hard time. And they make it sound so true. And they're such a victim. And everybody has hurt them. And they haven't done anything wrong to anybody. And they haven't said anything wrong to anybody. And hey, don't you love me? But you are sitting there getting sucked in because this is a master manipulator. And they want you to think that everything about them is good. And anything that's not good is a result of something that someone else has, has inflicted upon them. So they're in deep, dark pain. And they need you to help them navigate through their pain. Right. You better cut that sucker loose. I won't even hold a conversation. If I think someone's getting ready to verbally abuse me, click, conversation's over. I'm done. Because I will not sit there. I get my feelings hurt real easy. I'm not going to sit there and let somebody cut me to shreds just because they think they can. And if they think they can, they're going to do what they big and bad enough to do at my expense. Now, look at here. God blesses me. God encourages me. I don't have to sit and listen to somebody smear their doo-doo all over me. No, and neither do you. You don't have to sit there and take a slap. You don't have to sit there and be cussed out. You don't have to be fronted out in public. You don't have to be disrespected. You don't have to be accused of doing stuff you didn't do. It's not necessary. Life is too short for that kind of drama. Leave that play, and that dialogue, and those characters alone. Keep your sanity. Don't let anybody steal that from you. Watch the warning signs. Jealousy. Suspicion. Instant anger out of nowhere. What? Where'd that come from? Yeah. You watch it. People accusing you of doing stuff you don't even know what they're talking about. You watch that. People who call you morning, noon, and night. Where are you going? Where were you? I called you. Why weren't you home? No, you don't owe them an explanation. 
You are a free agent, baby. The only one that owns you is you and God. Nobody else. No one should put a leash on your life, on your whereabouts. Come on now. Okay. I'm going to stop there for now. If God lays anything else on my heart, I shall return. Toodles.